Hi, this is Lloyd from LloydMcSeeder.com and who is LloydMcSeeder.com? Today is the 15th of April 2014 at 10.44 in the morning. Now, before anything else, the I would like to answer Subham Shah. I think his name is Subham Shah. He apparently thinks that I have put only a iMac, uh, not iMac, what is it? Mac, MacBook Air image and I'm bluffing that I have a MacBook Air. Well, here you go. This is my new MacBook Air. So just to show you and you believe that I'm not bluffing Shubham. And uh, just to make sure that it is actually a MacBook Air, I'll allow it to get on and um, so that you can see. Well, actually you can see it's working and um, you know, everything is all. So I hope now you believe me that it is a MacBook Air. And um, I'm actually trying to use it for a couple of days and see how is it. Okay, anyway, Shubham Shah, I hope you are convinced. Now, I got a couple of questions that have been sent to me from uh, the A plus group. I want to address each and every one of them. So the first one is from uh, Pratik Malkhani. Uh, can we ask questions in on the status? Yes, Pratik, you can ask me questions under that status. Okay. Same question, Bhavish Sajnani. Bhavish Sajnani, he's asking me a question. The question is, wait, let me move my iMac. Ah. Who was your inspiration when you were a kid? Who was your inspiration when you were a kid? Um, let's see. I, uh, when, when I was small, I actually was very fascinated by Superman. Uh, I was fascinated by Bruce Lee. The first fascination that I did have was this gentleman. He happened to tell me one fine day that I was very special. And when he told me I was special at the age of 16, apparently after my parents kept calling me a mistake, um, he kind of inspired me to achieve greatness and the book that he gave me was Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. So I would say that Napoleon Hill kind of inspired me towards greatness. So who inspired me towards greatness? Uh, well, him. If there was a person, I would say, it was, you know, any of those superstars like Bruce Lee or, uh, uh, yeah, you know, just the typical Superman, those kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay, Bhavish Sajnani. Next one, Imad Muhammad. Thoughts on your mom? Imad, Imad Muhammad. Okay, thoughts to my mom. I, I, when I look back on life today, I just look at my mom as a normal, average, you know, everyday Mangalorean village woman who came down to Dubai to, uh, you know, succeed in life, become something. She's not actually a bad person. I wouldn't say that my, my mother Helen was a bad person. It's just that she was quite focused about making money and she wanted to make money and, you know, she kind of focused on that. And she was very good at playing politics. She was very good at um, playing these mind games, which I, I personally hate and I don't like. And uh, she's a person who is very insecure because she always wanted to kind of be the favorite, kind of be in control. She loved playing these mind games and controlling my stepfather to do things. And uh, But she was a very enterprising woman. I'll tell you, she was very enterprising. She was very business minded. She taught herself different languages. She opened up many businesses and she failed. So she was a very enterprising one. The only drawback which I think for her was she was very impulsive, she was very talkative, she was very unpredictable, she was very unreliable and she lacked integrity. It means if you tell her a secret, she would definitely go and share it with someone else. So this is what I think of my mom. She's, you know, she's just a normal person, uh, normal everyday lady. So yeah, uh, so I, I, I don't have any kind of hate for her. Anyway, so that was a question by Imad Muhammad. Next one, Marwan. Will Vilak. Marwan Vilak. Do you have any girlfriend? I have many of them. A couple of them here and there. You just keep going and going. Yeah. So I don't want to give their names. You're not supposed to be confidential. Okay. Do I have a girlfriend? I have many girlfriends. Okay. Vilak. Then Bhavish Sajnani. Marwan Vilak. If answer the question, he sleeps with any random chick. He likes no one in particular. Oh, okay. So he's answering my question. Okay, fine. Next one. Marwan Virak, this guy is my favorite now. So I'm your favorite only because I have many chicks and I sleep around and I have many girlfriends. That's not a good measure of being a favorite guy. You need to be a classy guy. You need to be a nice guy. Don't try to be a bad guy. Next one, uh, Bhavi Sajnani says, ha ha. Then Abhishek Garank, how would, how would be, what? I, I, wait, wait a minute. How world would be if there were no religion okay how would the world be if there was no religion um if there was no religion then there would be no 
people praying, there would be no people scared of anything else. I think people would be more brave, they would be scientific, they would be there would be a different set of crimes. People would commit crimes for personal reasons or for vindictive reasons, not for religious reasons. Uh, I definitely feel the world would be a much better place because there would be uh, less things to be worried about, but yes, it would give rise to new challenges. So I think the world would be a much better place because there would never be like, my religion is better than yours. You know, you are going to hell, you're not going to heaven. You know, that's our differentiation wouldn't be there. Oh, after I die, I'm going to see God and milk and honey and, you know, get all these benefits you're not going to get and don't touch my holy book and don't draw this thing and don't offend me. So that wouldn't be there. So in that way, it would be better. On the other side, I, I, I sometimes wonder, uneducated people, people from the villages, uh, would they have any reason to fear um, trying to do bad? So that will always be a question. But if you ask me honestly, if there is no religion, I think this world would be a much better place. Okay, then Abhishek, Rag, how much time did it take for you to get these tattoos? How much time did it take me to get these tattoos? It took me five years, five years to get all these tattoos because you need to understand you get one tattoo for two weeks and you don't think about it after, especially having a, like a um, eight hour session. It's too much pain. I don't know about others, but for me, it used to pain me a lot. And it took me mentally two weeks of recuperation and then to come back because after you get a tattoo, your hand swells, a lot of bleeding. You need to allow the skin to heal, the color to set in and, you know, then come back for a following session. So it took me five years with, you know, each session taking eight hours or four hours or five hours and two weeks break in between. Okay. Next one. Um, uh, Chirag Tulani, is homosexuality a crime? Well, it depends on which country you're talking about. If you're talking of uh, conservative countries or Muslim, uh, the Muslim world, uh, obviously homosexuality is a crime. If you're talking of um, European countries or um, the more uh, westernized nations, uh, for them homosexuality is not a crime. Even in India nowadays, homosexuality is a crime, which I can't seem to understand because people are minding their own business. They're doing, you know, live and let live, do whatever they're you know, hell you want. So what's my problem? So um, yes, I, I think the reason why homosexuality is considered a crime because in certain religions, it's considered like an evil taboo thing. But nowadays, scientifically, it has been found out that homosexuality is, uh, you know, is, is not, not just a choice. It is people having these tendencies that come. And if you actually read books on evolutionary biology, you'll find out that even animals, certain animals have homosexuality tendencies like the um, bonobo monkeys, you know, they play with each other, especially the same sex. So, you know, I, I personally don't think homosexuality is bad. Uh, I'm not a homosexual myself. I don't have a problem with them, but it depends on which country you're talking about. So if you're talking of the Middle East region, Muslim world, it's bad. If it is the Western region, it's not bad. So hope I answered your question. SIDS SK, best football team. Don't have any, don't watch football, even though it's a great sport. Just get busy. When I was young, I think it was Argentina. I love Diego Maradona because he was very enterprising and uh, he really wanted the, his team to win. So, yeah. Next one, Vibhav Radha Krishna. Do you think potato deserves a separate country? I don't know. You need to ask the potato as to whether it wants to be in a separate country or not. It depends on the benefit it gets. Otherwise, it needs to ask tomato land if it can be accepted. So, it all depends on uh, which vegetable kind of country it goes to. So this is Lloyd from LloydMessero.com. Any other questions, feel free to ask me. Thank you very much to the A-plus students uh, from Pratik, Bhavesh, Imad, Marwan, who else? Abhishek, Chirag, Sids, and Vibhav. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Goodbye for now. See you.